What's up, America? This is your girl, Aquarius, and we still going to keep doing it big for 2009. We're here at Compact Disc in Norcross, Georgia, where all the hottest celebrities come through, do their album release, autograph signings, and tonight, we're going to bring you Bobby Valentino, The Rebirth. Here, he is going to talk to his greatest fans, handpicked, selected here, to kind of do a Q&A session, up close and personal, all about Bobby V, The Rebirth. The album drop, make sure you go out and get it, it's hot, hot, hot. Special gift for Valentine's Day, so ladies, and fellas, go out and do something nice. Pick up the album, The Rebirth. Bobby Valentino in stores. Aquarius Williams, Shimoda Fams, Q Talks in the house. Let's get, get, get it. Bobby Valentino in the house. Thank you, Michelle, for having us. Um, Y'all can come get close. Y'all scared? You don't want to bite. You going to bite. <laughs> 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 all right, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna ask some questions about the album and all the good stuff that you have going on, and give um, opportunity for some of your fans here to ask you some questions as well. Um, but let's go into the rebirth. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about the rebirth. Um, explain that. I think I need a mic too. Yeah. I need to just interview you. <laughs> now the rebirth. You know, that's my third album. Uh, it's the rebirth of me as a businessman, as an entrepreneur. I'm on my own label, so, you know, uh, through EMI for distribution. But, um, you know, it's the rebirth for me as a businessman. I've learned so much throughout the business. I've been in there over 10 years, you know what I'm saying? So, I learned a lot about the business, and I just felt like it was my time to do my thing. It was the rebirth for me. That's what's up. <laughs> very good, very good. So, um, listening to this album and um, there's a lot of ballads on here a lot of love stuff yeah no. we're gonna talk tell me um, the inspiration behind, uh, behind a lot of the ballads on this album uh, the inspiration behind the ballads is always you know as, as a man you know who loves women I'm not wrong for that am I I hope yeah, you love women. Because there's a lot of men out there that love men. And I'm not part of that. I'm part of the men that love women. So, you know, I think the love songs always derive from that because, you know, it's all about love. You got to have love for people in the world, love for your loved ones, and love for just the one that you really love like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the, the balance comes from. How was it working with um, Tim and Bob on this project? That's always good working with them. They're my favorite producers. You know, we are. Uh, we collab very good, you know what I'm saying? The chemistry is crazy, so I, I'm gonna work with them forever. You know, whether I work with any other producers, I'm gonna always have Tim and Bob on, on my album because, you know, I kind of started with them. They know me as an artist. They always know the direction where my album really needs to go, you know? And I work with a lot of other producers to get certain different sounds, but Tim and Bob ultimately has the Bobby B real sound. All right, so before I go into a question, I'm going to ask, does any fans have a question before we go into the next one real quick? What's your name, My name is Shay, and I want to know where your girlfriend is. All right, her name is Shay, Bobby, and she wants to know, where your girlfriend at? First of all, I want to know, how old are you? <laughs> you is not 18. 17 counts. Oh, uh, well, my girlfriend, I don't know. You, you tell me where she at. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Is that right? Okay. So let me ask you this. Um, in the um, in the insert of the rebirth, there you were quoted as saying that um, people think that you are this R and B dude, and you want to be known for more than that. What exactly do you want your fans to know more about Bobby Valentino? Well, I, I mean, I want them to know that you know um, I'm more than just a singer. You know, I have a college degree. You know, I play sports. Um, what sports you play? Everything. Everything. I'm an athlete. So I don't do like Because we're going to do one-on-one -on -one basketball. How about that? One-on-one yeah. -on -one basketball. Yeah. Sounds like a sport to me. Uh, anyway, that's a whole lot. But uh, what was the question? The question, you want people to know you other than just R&B singer. So share. 
just told two things. Another that I'm a businessman. Another that you know I want to be. I want to get my life into a level, a level where I can empower other black men to help other people. You know what I'm saying? So you know I have a foundation, the Bobby Valentino Foundation, where I give back to communities. I give scholarships uh, to students that want to hire, that want to further their education. So you know I do a lot more than just sing songs. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when the people know. The more, the more that I do and what kind of person I really am, the more records and, and, and you know, the more the connection will be with the fans. Right. What's the name of your foundation again? The Bobby Valentino Foundation. And if someone wants to be a part of that, they go to your website? Boom, boom. Okay. BobbyValentino.com. You're going to go check it out. Y'all got that? All together, Bobby Valentino Foundation.com. All right, go <laughs> check that out. I want to know about your influence in music because I, I want to make a bet and say Prince, possibly, because we're going to go to number 15, DJ, and tell me if I'm right about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the inspiration on this song. You know, I really went in the studio and I actually produced this record myself. So, um, you know, I went in the studio and I just really zoned out. You know what I'm saying? I went there. And, and, that's how this record came about. And this is the song that when you with that special loved one, you can let it roll. So you all, this is Another Life, and this is uh, what I felt like it was a lot of Prince influence behind that. Some of y'all may be too young, but uh, Prince is definitely uh, all through this. And this song is so Speaking of the West Coast, uh, how, is it, how is it like to work with Vasco and Molly? Silence. <laughs> Uh, Roscoe O'Malley, man, you know, he sent me a record, and for those that don't know, Roscoe O'Malley is a big kind of West Coast rapper. Um, I did a song with him, and it was real big on the West Coast, but, um, you know, working with him was real cool, you know, um, he had a big, we did a big record together, E-40 was on it, and um, it was great working with him. I like collaborating with other artists, um, because it makes it a little bit fun. The collaborations are always, uh, big records, especially for radio, because you have both ele elements of two different artists, and radio really likes to, you know, play records like that, so it's cool. Number 16, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm sorry, number 6, number 6, number 6, number 6. Number 6. We'll let him let get his show on first. I'm not right. You gotta turn it up some more, DJ. There you go, yeah. So explain that. There's kids in here, Bobby. I know. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, this song right here, man, you know, when I first heard the producer sing this record, and it was kind of the bits and pieces of it, and I put the hook together like that, and then I wrote the verses. And um, I actually collaborated with my manager. His name is Courtney, y'all, and he's back there with the And if you don't think that you the hottest in whatever you're doing, you're fooling yourself. So whatever you're doing, you better think that you the best at it. Because ain't nobody, if you don't believe it, ain't nobody else definitely not going to believe it. Y'all hear that young ladies? So y'all don't be messing with these little boys out here. Tell them, tell them. better tell them, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Y'all get that education. We thank you so much for coming out, spending time with your fans, the Reaper. If y'all don't have it and y'all up in here, go see Michelle right now and go get it. Um, thank you so much, Bobby. The Rebirth in stores now.